too late to repent. Let's go. You can't run! Fighting is meaningless. Huh? Did you see that? I think something's moving. Hmm. It's just an ordinary snowdrift. Are you sure you're not seeing things? Not. My eyesight's perfect. Come on, let's take a closer look. <laughs> hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. <laughs> Holding your breath won't help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. They just need a help. You're out! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Is Captain Jepard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but... Fear not. Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity. Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than ten feet from... Me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to... Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in a snowdrift. And you'll be in a cell before you know it. You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog's soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, Ugh. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from... No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but... But... But it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Koski's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. So why were you hiding from the Silvermane guards? Eh, I was just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. 
If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything, I just care about my friends. No pressure. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Oh. It's now or no never. Over to you, dear friends! Hey, where do you think you're- Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! <laughs> Time for the main event. Let's go. You're annoying. Depart Landau, captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ugh, that Sampo okay. cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Suspect, relinquish your resistance. Uh, so I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Ready Sampo. Yourself? Wait until I get my hands on you. My music conquers all. of life and death. Proof the sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Let's make it quick. Rules are made to be broken! This is our chance. I have no interest in conflict. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock! Tough luck running into me! Let's go. This ends here! And the prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We... <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by. Yeah, 
We'd never team up with someone like him. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects. No take them away. But we're not from Bellabog! Photos? Ah, oh, you're a genius! Great idea! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6. You mean to say that this white ball that's here, that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He's sure saying some weird- A marked change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a histo- Uh-huh. So why is he telling- You wanted to know. Uh <laughs> We saw strange creep. Creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmentum. Correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats. Including the monsters you saw. The guards will notice if we stray too far off. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the architect. 
The saviors of humanity. Long before the arrival of the Eternal Freeze, the, archi the architects named this fortress after Klepoth, Eon of Preservation. Under their direction, humanity has withstood external enemy attacks and held off the Eternal Freeze. Even today, we resist the Fragmentum's corrosion. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current Guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find... Rest easy. The Madam Guardian doesn't care about formalities. Not to mention, you've only just arrived. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madam Kakolia will be aware of your arrival. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. Yes, Mother. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say... From beyond the sky? No. I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be great- Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> the architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klepoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. Which is why the Antimatter Legion and Stellarons often show up together. Worlds seeded with Stellarons give birth to Fragmentums. As for the Eternal Freeze, it must have been a product of the Stellaron, unique to the environment of your world. You can see us as... kind-hearted, interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. <clears throat> You're... Analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you ca Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Yeah! FYI! 
FYI. We're pretty awesome. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. <sighs> it's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here, and we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. It should be me thanking you. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to... Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Of course, I understand. Do not worry. I have a way. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no- You know, I didn't think things were gonna go that smooth. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. Wait, can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guard stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. Can't decide.
These fall peony blossoms are gorgeous.